Okay, um, in the last video, we introduced uh, the method of Laplace transforms, and this is our definition. And using that definition, so far we obtained the Laplace transforms of two basic kinds of functions. We just have a constant for this corresponding Laplace transform is, and for an exponential function multiplied by a constant, this is its corresponding Laplace transform. So in this video, we just want to practice using our formulas, finding Laplace transforms, and also when we have a function of s in this form, how we can find the inverse Laplace transform to derive the function f of x. Let's start here with this. Well, here we have these functions, and we want to find the Laplace transforms. So here we want to find what is the Laplace transform of E. Well, of course, E, that's just a constant, so it would be E divided by S. So in this case, the corresponding Laplace transform is just the constant which is E divided by S. Here we have the Laplace transform I take of E to the minus 3x. So here we're going to use this formula, but it's just being multiplied by 1, so that's going to be equal to 1 over S minus the exponent, S minus negative 3, or that would be 1 over s plus 3. And here we have minus 5 e to the minus 7x, and here we have a formula right here, so this would be, the constant is minus 5, divided by s minus negative 7, or that would be s plus 7. And finally, we have this example here, where we have 2 times e to the 4x minus 2, and we want to find its corresponding to Laplace transform. Now for here, we have the look at this a little bit, we realize we can rewrite this. That would be 2 times e to the 4x times e to the minus 2. Or we put e to the minus 2 with the other constant. So it would be written like this. 2e to the minus 2 and we want to find the Laplace transform of this. So this is just a constant, and here's our formula right here. So in this case, the corresponding Laplace transform, that's going to be the constant, which is this part, 2e to the minus 2 divided by s minus k, and k, that's the coefficient of the x, so this is going to be s minus 4. So that would be the Laplace transform of this function. Okay, well now let's keep this in mind and consider these three problems. We're now we have the Laplace transform, and from this we want to know what is going to be the corresponding f of x. Or the other way to state the problem is, we know what the Laplace transform is, now we want to take the inverse Laplace transform, so we can find out, determine the corresponding f of x function. And from here, it should be pretty apparent then that this is going to correspond to negative 1. If 
if you take a Laplace transfer of negative 1, this can be negative 1 divided by s. Now what about this one? This is in this form right here, so the function we're looking for is going to be in this form right here. The constant is 9, so that's going to be 9 times e, and this is plus 2, and here this and this are opposite sign, so this would be e to the minus 2 x for that inverse Laplace transform. And then, as a matter of fact, if we had a problem like this, we said, here's a function, what is this Laplace transform? We would say it had to be equal to the constant divided by s minus negative 2, or s plus 2. Now we're looking at this, and we want to take the inverse Laplace transform to look in this direction, so we can easy enough divine that it has to be this function. Now, what about this one down here? 1 over 2s minus 3. We don't have any formula that looks like that. We have s minus k, but s is multiplied by 1. No other coefficient. Here it's multiplied by 2. So, we can factor the 2 out. And that would be 1 over 2 times s minus 3 halves, factoring the 2 out. And if we wanted to, we could rewrite this as putting 1 half in the numerator, divided by s minus 3 halves. Now we'll have it in this form, like this, that resembles this form right here. So the corresponding f of x, or the inverse across transform of this, it would have to be equal to constant, which is one half, times e, This is minus k, this is plus k, this is minus 3 halves. Up here we will have plus 3 halves x. So that's all we've had for this video. We just wanted to start taking practice of using the two formulas that we have developed so far, how to use them to take the plus transforms of different functions and also to start thinking in the opposite direction. If we have the Laplace transform given, how can we go about finding its inverse Laplace transform? So that's it for this video. Uh, what we'll do in the next video is we're going to start finding the Laplace transforms of more functions, but we're going to find a way to go about it so that we don't always have to use this integration process to accomplish that. And that's what we're going to start approaching in the next video. So come back and join us for that. We'll pick up from there.